Nashville, Tennessee, home of Honky Tonk and for at least two women. Horrors you don't hear about here. My son said I look like someone had beaten me in the face with a baseball bat. And all this was blistering. It was painful. It was very painful. Several years ago, Daphne Carroll and Lisa Faust went to two different Tennessee med spas. Carol came here for makeup and said she was talked into free facial laser treatments. She said the esthetician who later performed her first paid treatment burned her face. This was her before and this was her after. Faust went to a med spa to have sunspots removed from her chest and said a registered nurse burned her. My chest was um, scarred. Both have permanent scars that they cover with makeup, and Carol said she has facial nerve damage. It's debilitating pain through my face. The women said their pain was brushed off. They were pretty dismissive. They just said, put some ointment, here's some ointment. She had me text her the picture and told me that this was a normal reaction. In Tennessee, there's no law regulating med spas or requirement that a doctor supervises the laser treatments. But many Tennessee med spas advertise they have a medical director on staff. Faust asked to see one. They basically said he's never here. Dr. Stephen Bangelsdorf is a board certified general surgeon who specializes in cosmetic surgery. He has not treated the women we spoke with, but said he was familiar with their stories. He said many doctors are acting as ghost medical directors at med spas. I think physicians are getting burned out. I think they're looking for alternative revenue streams. Dr. Bangelsdorf said their name might be on the door, but it does not mean they are on site. I'm not advocating that only physicians do these treatments. I'm saying that Someone who does this treatment should be qualified, well-trained, and be able to get medical attention for a patient who's being treated. We wanted to ask med spa owners and medical directors about their practices, but they all turned us down. Meantime, Carolyn Faust want to keep others from getting burned. Just because there's a doctor's name on the door, don't trust that there's actually a physician present. Make sure, absolutely sure, that you know the person who is administering this treatment is trained. I think what this points out is that women really need to take um, things that they may consider uh, beauty treatments like laser, and laser can be used in so many different ways that it just really points out that this is a procedure that should be done by somebody who is qualified. Very much so. We, yeah. we, we hear and see lasers everywhere out there in society, and I think the lay public is beginning to just think that it's a nothing mm -hmm. thing. But we know laser energy, such an intense beam oh, yeah. of light, Powerful. generating heat. You can, I mean, severe burns. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. Just, just, you, just like you saw in the picture. Absolutely. And here's the thing. Because you can get these treatments sometimes at the same place you would get a haircut or your eyebrows waxed, some of these women said it just didn't seem well, like that big of a deal. And the doctors that I spoke to who are opposed to these med spas were explaining to me, as you probably know, that the aftercare is really critical. So if somebody were injured, because even a doctor might not get this treatment exactly right, but it's that aftercare, that 24 to 48 hours afterwards, that could really make make the difference in terms of scarring or if somebody's going to have a really bad reaction. For sure, everybody's skin is different. You you don't do the same laser on everybody based on a different skin type and you have to make sure the laser is working and and you saw those burns in the decote area. The skin there is so much thinner than other parts. I assume that that person just said, oh, well, this setting will work in that area. Well, it didn't. And Melanie, before we go to break, for a viewer at home, What's the takeaway here? I know that you were in Tennessee where regulations are a little different maybe than other mm -hmm. states because people at home want to know if I go to a medical spa, can I trust the services? Because there are certainly a lot of great medical spas out there. You want to see in the state that you're in, what if any law exists? So in some states, by law, a physician has to perform these procedures. In some, a physician has to quote unquote supervise right. the procedures and that doesn't really say whether or not that means they can supervise in the room, they might be in another place, they might be conducting surgery, or in Tennessee, there might be no regulations. So find out what the rule is in your state and really know who's doing the treatment, what is their training. Is there a medical director that's actually on site, or is that person maybe doing some other job but is available by phone? So educate yourself, that's the takeaway. Melanie, thank you so much. Great Excellent. report.